Okay, let's take a look at how to set up SVN. Um, this is not an advanced tutorial. Uh, I spent the weekend setting up SVN <clears throat> on Linux via command line, via the way you're supposed to do it, via a real SVN repository. There's no way I can make a video about that in any possible amount of time frame that YouTube will allow. So, here's a free way to do SVN, kind of free. <clears throat> Here, here's a cheaper way to do SVN. You know what, it's not even cheaper. Whatever. Here's a way to do SVN for beginners. So, here's a program on Mac called Versions. It's an SVN client. Okay? This doesn't do anything for you unless you have an SVN server. So, beanstalk.app actually uh, can host for you a SVN server. So SVN server basically will host all the files that you can commit to. Okay, uh, Go to pricing and sign up and then it will cost money but there is a free account that has just three users, one repository and 100 megabytes of space. So if you have a small application and you're just using it with a couple people and just one application then this is great. Okay, And again this is just to get you started. Eventually you'll want to get uh, your own server and set up SVN server on there. But for now we'll just do free account. We'll fill out this with bob 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 at bob dot com. Uh, bob had a baby. It's a boy. Password. Um, let's do some numbers. And you know what? I, I remember what I'm typing. One, two, three, four, five, six. A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Uh, <coughs> account name. This is test account. That's fine. I agree. Create account. Okay. Next step will be setting up the actual SVN, and I've already done this, I'm just kind of going here so I can show you the screen, so I can explain to you what you're supposed to click on. Um, okay, so once you're logged in, the first thing you do is create a new repository, so click that. And I know everyone saw my password, I'm not planning on changing it, so feel free to use this account because I'm not going to use it. Anyway, give your repository a name, choose Subversion, and then basically make this the same name. So like say we make this app, right? See it's going to put it down there. So that's fine. Repository name, choose the version, choose your app and then go to next step, okay? Uh you know what? We'll actually go ahead and do that. On the next step, create repository from scratch, which is what you want to do. Create the directory structure. You also want this. This is going to create you have your repository and then you got trunk branches and tags in a folder. You want that, okay? Just you want that. Ignore the rest. Go to next step. Um Next step will be user and permissions. So here you can actually set up a user with a password, right? So here's an owner and a password permission set up. Then you'll come back to your screen, and on this, it will actually take you, uh, it'll actually take like 15 minutes to set up, okay? Once your, so your URL is your name at Beanstalk, whatever your application, okay? Whatever your SVN URL is, okay? That's your SVN URL. And what you need to do is take that, pull up versions, or your SVN copy. Okay. Now, from here, this is a paid program. You don't need it, but I like it, and I might buy it. We'll see. I haven't used it very much. Anyway, so we don't want a repository because this is if you have a repository that is not online, right? So free online repository. So click that. It's going to bring you here. You were just here. So go back to the thing and pop this up. Okay. So name. <clears throat> so we're going to call this Annex. I'm going to paste in my uh, Beanstalk and I type in my information and hit create. Now it's going to verify and create the repository. And that's that. So here's our repository. It's got branches, tags, and trunk, right? Okay. Now, what we need to do is in here, we need to right click on the trunk and do checkout. Now we need to choose our files. <clears throat> uh, my annex files are. So Annex is the Firefox plugin I'm working on, so that's going to be in Applications. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to be in Macintosh HD uh, Library Application Support Fire... Where are you, Firefox? Okay, so it's going to be Sean Library Application Support Firefox Profiles profile ID extensions and actually before I do that I'm actually gonna make a backup because 
there's a chance I'm going to screw this up. So let's go to extensions and let's just um, duplicate this. Okay, so now we've got a copy just in case. Okay, but that's that's the one we want. So let's go back to versions and we want that one, which is not the copy, right? And we'll just say check out. Now, it's going to check out revision 1, which is going to put nothing in there. There's no files in there, right? There's nothing in here. Okay. Now, um, that actually probably wasn't what I wanted to do. Because that actually, okay, that put a trunk folder here. So that's not what we wanted to do. That was wrong. My bad. So let's uh, actually SVN. So we're going to go back to Annex. Let's go ahead and delete the trunk, right? Go ahead and commit the delete. Okay, good, and we're going to delete this bookmark, because that doesn't go anywhere now. Move to trash. Okay, now, in here, uh, you just need this again. Okay, now, we're going to create a new folder here. New folder, annex. No. Uh, trunk. Did I spell wrong? No, okay, commit trunk. Okay, now what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go here, go back. Now we're going to actually rename this like dot back. And then I'm actually going to copy this. I'm going to create it here. Okay, so that, copy. Okay, that's renamed. So I don't have, so the name I want is not there now, right? Okay, so now I'm going to right click, check out. I'm going to change the name to be that folder that I wanted. And now that's, also, that's going to be in Sean Library application support Firefox profiles profile ID extensions and it's gonna be here so check out so now that checked out that and it created the folder here see that so now I'll go into the backup copy those files paste them into the one that's SVN now okay now there's files in here waiting to be committed so See, it's in here. See, they're in here. Question mark, meaning waiting to commit it. So, at this point, we will commit. No, we have to SVN add. I'm sorry. So, we have to select these files and add. Okay, see, now they're plus signs. So, now we commit, and it says it's going to commit all of our code, which is great. And now we're going to say, um, you know, setting up, set up the trunk and commit. Now it's committing all of our files to that SVN repository. <clears throat> and as soon as it's done, we'll come back and we'll take a look. Oh, well, that was quick. Okay, not done. Okay, so now that's done. Okay, um, these should have updated. They didn't. Um, let me make sure that SVN update. Hmm, let's just make sure that that's working. Maybe just the icons are off. Refresh. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, so now let's go back to here, my account, and let's take a look at browsing the repository and in the trunk. So we've got our files, we've got our Chrome, so everything's here. So you ask yourself, what do you do with this now? So say we're on a different computer altogether, right? So let's go to our desktop and make a new folder and say test checkout. So this is somebody else's computer, right? So, well, here's our test checkout. So we'll pull up uh, here, and we'll do a, we'll click on Annex and Trunk, and then we'll do a checkout of the trunk. And we're going to do that to our desktop. Um, oh, yeah, we don't have to give it the name of the folder. Uh, it's going to do checkout to, what do we call it? Test checkout. So I'm going to call it, and we actually, we actually want to go back to the desktop and call it test check out and hit check out and it says replace the folder right yes okay so now it's checking out all of our files to test checkout so if we go to our desktop and go to test checkout here's all of the files okay so basically what we did is we're on say we're on somebody else's computer we just check out all the files so now I can edit these and submit them to SVN and I've created that whole repository so holes now we've created an SVN uh, situation